Hello everybody. This is just an update to my DIY fake power wall. The real fake power wall. And in this video I wanted to show you my charge controller. And basically this is what I'm going to be using. This is an eSmart 3 40 amp charge controller. This was, uh, was given to me by a good friend of mine and about a week later he passed away. So this was his. It's it's not used. It was never used. It was still in a box. This was an extra one that he bought because he, he bought two of each of everything, pretty much. So, he gave me this charge controller and it says, Here, an early birthday present in July. Because I got this in July on my birthday, actually. So, I told him, I need a charge controller. So, when I move to the new place in Georgia here, that I'm going to be charging up some batteries. So, he gave me this guy. And... It worked well for him, so I'm going to try to attempt to set this up and, well, I did try to set this up, but the problem was that this uses a USB to RS-45 adapter and let me communicate by plugging it into a laptop or a desktop computer. The problem is the drivers that are coming are Chinese drivers and they do not... I repeat, they do not work on Windows 10. No matter if you put it in compatibility mode or not, they will give you a big error. So it's recommended to use X, Windows XP or Windows 7. And I have a laptop that I haven't used anymore. It's a dual-core laptop. It's, an, it's a netbook. So I'm going to use that and set Windows 7 on there, which I think it already does have Windows 7 Professional on it. But just in case if it don't, then I will be setting one up and plugging this into it so I can configure the charge controller. I will also put a um, webcam on it too so I can monitor everything so I can make sure that there's going to be no problems. So I can just send some commands to it and shut it down if I need to. But for now, this is my charge controller it's a 40 amp charge controller. And on the bottom, these are the adapters. I mean, these are the connects. This is the RS45, which is, looks like an Ethernet controller, but it's not. I mean, an Ethernet adapter. It is an Ethernet adapter, but it's just only using three pins in here. There's my load side, my battery side, and my PV, which is my panel side. It also has a temperature sensor, which I have in a box I haven't taken out yet. So this will let me monitor temperature as well. And I think right now that's about it for this video. In the next video, I will be putting this on and set, trying to set it up, basically. I'm not going to hook it up to my cells yet because I haven't done my bus bars just yet. So hopefully by this week... This weekend, I will be having three of my, four of my packs done and putting, putting my solar panels up by Sunday. Since it's already Wednesday now. I know, I know. I'm, I'm getting lazy and getting behind on my videos. I'm trying to get as much as I can out and yeah, I'm doing the best I can. Anyhow, that's about it. Have a good one, everybody. And take care. See you next time. Stay tuned.